Howard Davies, founder of Context. Welcome to Bali for the Canalist Channel APAC Forum, and thank you for joining us on My Security TV. It's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, Howard, I, I attended a session uh, with your team last night and got a briefing on Context. Very interesting insights and data sets that you can provide on the international channel, particularly in North America and Europe, and I think that's what brings you to Bali, I understand, to expand that. Maybe, and you've been going since the early 80s, so uh, that's always a pleasure to, to speak to a business person who's been around that long. That's right. Uh, and still in business. So yes, you, that's you, right. What's the secret? Uh, but maybe introduce us to Context. Yeah, so Context uh, started a uh, little after the PC was invented. Got it. And our job was to always do bottom-up research, which is to get the facts from the ground up of uh, what is selling, uh, for how much, and where and how. So we've been researching the, uh, the IT market for, for 40 years now, essentially collecting data. Where we are today is that we collect about $100 billion a year of distribution, sell through transaction data, um, and then we collect another $100 billion of non-distribution uh, tier one uh, sales that are buying directly from the vendor. So altogether about 200 billion of transactions coming through, uh, daily data, and uh, the insights that are available there, not only to understand where the market might be going, but also to understand where it went last week. Yeah. And uh, the operational use of that data has been very important for many companies for many years. I think w where things are going is that, of course, uh, with AI and uh, the things that you can do with uh, uh, data sets of that detail today is way beyond what would have been possible maybe 10, 20 years ago. It must be transforming your business. As you say, you've been going for 40 years and the amount of data there, now that you've got, well, I'm sure you've had AI and machine learning tools over the top of that over time, but yeah. I imagine your customers or your clients can start to use their own AI tools over those data sets themselves? Well, that could be possible. And I think what's interesting is that everybody who is doing that with their own data has got one segment of the market, which is the sales that they're making. Either the distributor is just looking at the, just the sales that they're making in the market. Yeah. The vendor is looking at just the sales that they're making in the market. Uh, the beauty of the database that we have is that it captures everybody, yeah. all the distributors and all the, the, vendors. Uh, the vendors. And so we can get a holistic view of uh, what is happening. And I think the intelligence uh, will reflect that. We look forward to that transformation as it's happening now. Well, one benchmark might be the opening session at Canalysts is always sort of that insight, that market research uh, insights that Canalysts provides. Anything out of the ordinary that was on this morning or are they on the money here in terms of these trends? Uh, particularly for channel partners, it's been quite a flat uh, sort of 12 months. I think it has been. I think there's a transformation possible and, uh, and I see uh, areas of transformation that are taking place already. Um, there's a tremendous need for uh, digital transformation to take place and the channel partner is in a brilliant place to effect that. Whether we have new types of partner who enter the market uh, remains to be seen. It certainly happened over the years uh, where uh, new technologies bring new partners with that new technology along with it. And um, certainly the proliferation of uh, cybersecurity software, proliferation of cybersecurity vendors um, is very marked over the last few years and I could see the same thing happening with, uh, with AI in a variety of different yeah. ways. So I think the, uh, the future is very uh, rich and full. The question is uh, how existing partners are going to grab that and make use of it. Well, it sounds like Context is a platform, it's a bit of a given that they will need it. Uh, one of the things I brought up last night in the Q&A was the adaptability of sales teams to respond to market trends very, very quickly. And it is really uh, a, a live game, I won't say cat and mouse, but a, a live market game that your data seems to provide, both sales teams on a weekly, monthly, quarterly basis. Uh, and from a market context, uh, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of power there, I suppose, but I'm just wondering where that leaves the, the end customer knowing what's going on. Is it a, is well, it I think a there are a couple of things. First of all, yes, it's going to help the sales teams, <laughs> but also uh, there's going to be a lot of automation. And I think there's a lot of activity that goes on in the, in the IT market today 
which is uh, done manually, which is unnecessary. I think automation could do a vast amount yep. compared to what it has in the past, which then leaves um, more time to think through uh, where to go. And I think the sales teams are, are going to be able to become more intelligent in the way that they go about their business. Given the amount of time you've been watching the market, and you, I was pleased you said earlier that you know the future looks bright. Um, is it the same of the same? Do you think just the the next wave of technology change that you've seen, that we've been seeing since the advent of the PC in the 80s, or do you really see that AI is different? And can you do you have any insights into what next is emerging? Things like spatial computing and the like. What what do you hold out for the future, given uh, what you've been seeing over the last 30, 40 years? It's very interesting. Uh, over the years, people have predicted the demise of the PC. Um, what is interesting is that with AI, you need to have uh, privacy managed and sorted out. And uh, with a local inference chip now starting to appear in the new, as a neural network on your PC, that is the solution uh, which will enable privacy to be uh, retained. And so I think the PC is here to stay. Obviously, there's uh, upgrade and refresh cycles which are, um, are coming up on us at the moment. But the underlying uh, growth and the utility of the PC with its local processing, I think is going to be very powerful and going to be here to stay for a long while. Beautiful. Look, Howard Davies, uh, you've been around for a while, but it's great to finally see you here in the Asia Pacific region. First time to Bali? Uh, yes, indeed. Well, that's. That's a crime in itself. You should have been coming down much earlier. Yeah, exactly. uh, but Howard Davies, founder with Context, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of Canalys APAC Forum here in Bali. And thanks for joining us on My Security TV. It's a great pleasure. Thank you very much.